Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. Today we're down here at Disney Springs celebrating Hispanic and Latin America Heritage Month. So come on and check it out. So everybody, Disney loves to celebrate with food, right? So we're over here at the Daily Poutine. Our first stop, guys, we're gonna grab this. This is part of the celebration again until October 15th. I'm not even gonna try to say this because I will say it wrong. This is what we're gonna grab, guys, and we're gonna go for it. I do know, I mean, I, I know what plantains are, ground beef, so it looks pretty good. It's got some fries in there too. Oh yes, let's do it. Oh, actually here's a little information about it, guys. I'll back it up. You can zoom that in if you want to read about it. Here we go, guys. We got our first treat. Roberta, help us pronounce this, would you? I think it's pasta lone poutine, I, I'm guessing. Actually, this is part of your celebration, Roberta. You are from Latin America, but I mean, Brazil, America. yeah, Brazil is actually a Portuguese country, so yeah. kind of neat. So we're gonna try this right off. Jake, our number one food critic on Medling World. What do you think, Jake? Looks like a very good size Jones. We'll let Jake digest that a little bit. Roberta going to town yeah. on it. Oh, it smell it smells great. I can smell garlic. That's not a sweet one though. Let me get your piece with the sweet one. It's good. Sorry guys, you got a real close up of me there. I can taste. Oh, it's nice. Hang on, Jake. I can taste. I forgot. I forgot what condiment that was. Garlic. Garlic. Or shy. Yeah, I can taste. I can taste the garlic. I can taste like. I think there's meat in there too. Yeah, there's meat. Yeah. Yeah, I can taste everything well. Good yeah. eight and a half. Eight and a half. Jake's yeah. loving it. Plantain, yes. Oh, it's great. Mm. Oh, it's so good, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's delicious. Oh, I love the sweet with the garlic. It is absolutely fantastic. I love the plantains. They're nice. They're soft. Oh, they're so good. And a little bit crispy on the outside and then soft in the middle with the garlic. Delicious. This is a nine. Roberta, what are you thinking? Really good, definitely worth, it, especially the price and how much. Ten dollars for this, so that's pretty good for a big, big portion. So, guys, here's our first snack. Definitely, will recommend this one all day long. Guys, we're at our favorite place. Actually, this is where we were just eating amarets, but I want to show you. We're going for our next snack: the sweet mojito taco. I think I said it right. Somebody, let me know if I said that right. Sweet taco filled with lime mousse, mint pate de fruit and mangaree on a graham cracker. Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. Let's go have dessert, guys. The taco, I can't wait to try it. Let's let Jake have honors. As he's getting ready to eat that, I'm gonna tell you that. The poutine, oh my gosh. I don't know what's gonna beat that, guys. It was delicious. Here goes Jake. Getting right in it. I like to show how it falls apart or not. Looks like it's holding together pretty well. So where'd this came from? It's a graham cracker. It's on a graham cracker base. There's the base. Everybody go ahead, take a bite. Um, the green part is like a sour mousse. I can taste like the... Lime? Like marshmallow spore-ish kind of stuff. Yeah, it tastes like lime, the mousse. And I can taste... I need to get another bite. Smart kid. Takes after his dad. Oh, maybe his mom. As Roberta's going to town on it. It's falling apart. Let's let these guys go ahead and uh, take a couple bites. I'm going to take a bite and we'll let you know what we think of it. So it is messy. It's it, it's kind of holding together, but it's, it's breakable. So it's kind of staying, but breakable. You can see it's starting to break all over the chocolate. Let me try it. Jake, what are you saying? It's sour. It's sour. It's yeah. quite sour. It's, it's quite sour. the like squash, marshmallow. The, it's like a limeish sour. It's like a mousse that is lime and sour, and it can taste like a dark chocolate. Oh, and yeah, it's uh, it's like a sweet and sour. Yeah, it also has a, a bit of a minty apple taste. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little bit of mint. Jake's right, right as he said that, my brain like observed it. 
I think it's okay, but I'm not crazy about the graham cracker it's in the middle of. It's very messy. It's, it is, it's very messy. And you can't really eat it with a fork. You gotta kind of pick it up and eat it. Let me try one more bite. Okay. It kind of has a, if you ever had Andy's candies, it kind of has a flavor of Andy's candy, but with a lot of lime in it. I think it's okay. I'm gonna just give it a 7.5. I wouldn't go out of my way for it, but I think it's not too bad. It's okay. So Jake, what are you thinking, your final thoughts on the taco? It's a seven. It's sour lime, which I don't really like lime. I much prefer lemon. Dark chocolate, and it, it, I'm, I'm, I like dark chocolate, it's just that it like fell apart easily. Basically the entire thing fell apart easily. And let's get Roberta, the sweet expert of the family here. What are you thinking, Roberta? I like the lime mousse, but again, it have to like sour. And it, it is mostly sour. Yeah, the you mousse, gotta like sour. The mousse is good. I like the mousse. But falls apart very easy. I agree. I agree with Jacob. I would say a sour. Yeah. So I think we're pretty consistent with this one. It is good. If you like Andy's candies with a little bit of sourness, you'll like it. If not, you might want to move on. That's what we're going to do right now. Another one of the special food items here at the hangar bar, guys. The empanada here. Check it out. We're going to skip this one for now, though. Because we're heading over. But I did want to show you guys that you can get it. It's 12 bucks. It actually looks pretty good. We're heading over to Joffrey's to try the specialty coffee drink they have for the celebration of the Hispanic in Latin American Heritage Month. Let's try it. As I entered Joffrey's, guys, I did want to at least show you this. If you want to scan it with your phone, you can get all the information about the celebration. Let's head in. Here's Roberta getting our specialty drink. Let's try it. Check it out. It's a Dos de Leche Latte, I believe is what it is. And you can see it's cocoa on top. And you can get either Coco or Encante, uh, a Maribel, Maribel. So you get two choices, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's try it out and see if it's any good. Roberta's giving it a nice stir. It is fancy looking. It is fancy looking. It's like six bucks, I think. So, so far this would be the least expensive of what we tried. I'll try it anyway. Jake's gonna try it too. He's not like big coffee. on the coffee, but the highest I've ever Roberta, raised. now it's, how do you pronounce properly? The do do well, that's I say, I'm saying Portuguese. That's okay. It's heritage, and you're part of South America, so you're allowed to say like the way that you like it. Like Jake is saying no, thank you. He's not a coffee drinker, though. Look at that reaction. The little rocker says no, five. thank you. Roberta, what no. are you thinking? Four point five. Jake says four point five. If you didn't hear him. Okay, Roberta's holding this and not saying anything. I got to get the business. I'm not sure yet. Oh, it's got a nice, oh, it's strong. But I do know, Roberta, at least in Brazil, you guys love the strong, dark coffees. Yeah, I just. So I love the taste. Oh, I like, I love it. Oh, I love this. I want more. Because I love just espresso. If you like a real dark coffee, but then you get some sweetness. Oh, nine. But it's not selling me on the sledge. I think it does have the flavor though, I do. No, it doesn't. It's sweet, but it doesn't have the taste of those leche that you expect it to have. Okay. So it is good, but I don't think it's selling you the flavor <clears throat> they are promising. So, it is strong, it is, it, it, it's a good taste of coffee. Yeah. But I cannot taste the dust leche, I can well, taste only sweet. It might be because I'm not really sure what it's supposed to taste like, but I know it tastes sweet and it tastes good. And it's strong at the same time. So I'm giving it a nine. Roberta, you? I'm giving a seven because not selling me what it is. So we're all, all three of us, very different opinions. So take what you want from that. Interesting though. I'm glad we all have different opinions this time. Pretty cool. 
Here we go, guys. We're making our way for some more snacks. Guys, we're gonna try our next snack right here at the cilantro food truck right here at Disney Springs. You can see it's actually Starbucks is right there. There's another uh, food truck. There used to be three of them. Now there's down to two. But I'm gonna try my best to pronounce what it is, guys. And uh, it's probably not gonna sound too good. So let's see. Uh, as Roberta is in line getting it, it's uh, called Tequinos, I guess. Venice. Venezuelan white cheese wrapped with bread dough and a side of avocado cilantro dipping sauce. I can't wait to try it. As soon as Roberta comes back with it, we're going to give you another rate ranking and see if it holds up. So I will say it this festival and celebration is officially going right now, but we went to get the snack from the cilantro truck and the guy's like, Oh, we didn't know we were supposed to have it. So he said he's not gonna have it until at least Monday. Yeah. So I just wanted to pass that information to you that that's very rare to happen as Roberta cleans my face off. Thank you, Roberta, it's a good wife. Roberta, very rare that this happens when something is officially opened at Disney. Yeah. Now they may run out of something, Yeah. but he had no idea. No, they had no idea. And I'm sure they've been getting hammered all day with it because there's a lot of people vlogging this, not just and us. It started yesterday too. Yeah. yeah. So just giving you the information. Unfortunately, we won't be able to try that one. And a little disappointing, but I know things happen. Uh, so let's move on. We're gonna try something else instead. So now we're heading over to Everglazed because it's supposed to be something kind of similar to this, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the how you say again, Roberta? Those two links. Yeah, a, a donut. Let's go check it out. Hopefully we have better luck than we did have at the cilantro food truck. Let's head in and see if we can find it. So here it is, the Dose, the Dose de Leche donut. It is a cinnamon donut stuffed with the Dose de Leche and some chocolate on top. Let's go ahead and get into it. Jake going for honors here on the first bite. Let's take a look and see if it's filled up. Oh, a lot of dough there. Okay, you gotta get in there deep to get to the dough. Yeah. I mean, to get to the filling. So it's very doughy, obviously. So this is what we like to show you because if you look oh. here, it really looks like it's packed, but that's a good, you're in there, a couple good bites. So let's go from the front. Now he's definitely gonna have some. All right, let's go ahead and see how this thing tastes. What are you thinking, Jake? I don't know exactly how to describe the taste, except it gets your hands really dirty. <laughs> yeah. Jake's processing this one a little bit. Roberta got a huge bite, and yes, it is stuffed very nicely once you do get into that uh, dose de leche. Let me go ahead and try it. Mmm. It tastes a lot more like it. It tastes a lot more like dose de leche than mm. the drink that we had. Mm -hmm. But this is so moist, the donut's great. This, oh, the filling is awesome. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. You can really taste it a lot more on this lake than taking me like five minutes just, just to clean my hands. Yeah. It's really it is messy for it's sure. Messy, but it's also really good. I will definitely say too, this donut is a fresh donut. I mean this donut is so moist, it almost still tastes warm to me. Like it just came out. So I'm gonna give this donut definitely a nine. I think it's delicious. Roberta? Yes, definitely. Jake? Jake is not happy with this donut, I can tell. It's a 7.8. I would have given it an 8 if it didn't get my hands so dirty. So yeah, Jake I is... Taste, I taste a cinnamon, I taste cinnamon and a tad bit of chocolate. That's what I taste. It also gets your hands real dirty. Yeah. It is definitely a messy donut. So Jake has taken off 0.2% uh, because of messiness. Wow. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching Medley World today. There are many more snacks here at Disney Springs. We just touched the surface of the snacks, but wanted to come out. We wanted to try them and share our experiences with you guys. Please take a moment, subscribe to Medling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!